TRC Ukraina presents. Svetlana, I wanted to thank you again for yesterday's talk and yesterday's night. I definitely missed something in a relationship with my daughter. You're welcome. I'm a father, but it's hard for me to figure it out. And you, you and Lyra found common ground. Lyra is an amazing child, a thinker. And you're friends with her? Best friends. Cool. Liera, hello. Where is Nanny? She was supposed to pick me up. I decided to do it myself. Shall we talk? Frankly speaking, I don't really want to. What if I tell you I was wrong and that I'm very sorry? Really? Mm-hmm. And I have a gift for you as a peace offering. What are you waiting for? Open it. Wow! Oh, wow! Great! They're so pretty! Well, peace? Peace. I want everything in our family to be good. And we never fought. I want this too. Let's take a selfie. To remember, did you like the gift? I really did. Okay, smile. By the way, will you teach me how to ice skate? You can't imagine that. It's nothing. Of course I will teach you. Jump in. Like that. Following your heart. Episode 3. Hello, is Oleg in? Yes, the meeting has ended. Make me a latte with cinnamon. Yura? Hello. Hello. Darling, please forgive me. I made up with Lyra. I hope that you'll forgive me too. You went to her school? Yes. I picked her up, drove her home, and gave her ice skates. Lyra promised to teach me how to skate. Well, there is peace between us again. Look how happy she is. A happy camper. Ira, you don't even know how happy I am. I understand that it's hard for you to find common ground with her, but I truly want you to become a real mom for her. I promise.
Oleg, where's Ira? She already went home. Shame. I wanted to chat with her. Tell me, how's the hypermarket construction? How are the negotiations going? It's bad, Oleg. I wanted to tell you this in the morning, not to spoil the mood. Well, first they delayed the documents, and then they called in an hour and said that they have a new general contractor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who? We were first. Yes, we were first. I don't know who is it. Not yet. Find out. Fine. Find out, Vlad. We can't allow ourselves to throw away properties like those. Okay, I'll find out. Go and find out. Why are you screaming? I am going already. Drink some water. Vlad. Vlad. I'm going, I'm going. Oleg, let me walk you home. Don't. What do you want? Help yourself. Let me walk you home. Help yourself. Help yourself. Don't help me. Help yourself. Help yourself. Yesterday, I had an attack again. Even worse than usual. Yes, I know. Me and Lyra saw that. I didn't want to start the conversation myself. <clears throat> Remember when we talked about your attacks? Mm-hmm. I found out who do you need to talk to. Here. They say he's one of the best neurologists in the city. You know, I don't like going to the doctors. Maybe it will somehow go away on its own? For sure. Whatever you say, it's your decision. But it's not a joke. Mm -hmm. Now we are a family, and I'm worried about you. It hurts me to see how you behave yourself during these attacks. The main thing is not that I and the employer see it, it's that Lyra sees it. Understand? I'll arrange a meeting today. Sometimes something comes over me, some uncontrollable rage and a sharp headache. How much can you control uh, yourself during the attack? Can you remember the things you've done? I used to manage somehow before, but now the attacks became more frequent and uh, I lose control. Okay. More details. Tell me about what happens to you. Describe your feelings. It's always the same thing. 
I fall into some abyss. Darkness and uh, flashes of reality. Then I break through, it's letting me go. So that's how it is. Yeah. And what's next? I try to remember, but only the fragments come up. And it's so excruciating. Yeah. Things that happen to you are alarming. You'll need to go through a full medical examination. Tell me, do you have a person that can be trusted to manage the business in case of serious exacerbation of the illness? Is it that bad? I don't want to exaggerate, but you have a progressing disease of unknown origin. You told about a car accident. Maybe some parts of the brain are damaged due to the trauma received. One day, you can just fall into this abyss and never get out of it again. Do you understand? I do. Yeah, listening? Svetlana, this is Angelina from the real estate agency. Yes, I recognized you. Listening. There is a married couple who got interested in your property. Can you show it to them this evening? Yes, I think that's somewhere around seven. Is he in? Yes. I will be able to go there, so yeah, thanks. Goodbye. Oleg, hmm? do you have a minute? Yeah, come in. I found out who gonna build the hypermarket. Who? Company of someone named Ochotsky. Ochotsky. It's not the first contract that he got right from under our noses. Yeah, that's right. He is a sharp guy. Looks like he has his own people and the holding. Someone leaks the information to him. Okay, I don't like this. You hold your horses for the moment. I've got a plan. What if we make a move and offer a partnership? No. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, Alek. Don't go into denial. I learned something. Ochotsky company, sure, it's small, but it's on a rise right now. They have a lot of orders. They're low on working capital and support, but that's not it. I learned that Ochotsky is not against negotiating the cooperation with a larger company, one like ours. And if we offer him that, he will not just agree, he'll be happy. Partnership implies reliability and trust. That's right, exactly. We'll set up a meeting. You'll figure him out, what kind of animal is he, and I will give the word to our lawyers to come up with options of potential partnership. What do you say? Do you know each other? Who? We? Yes. <laughs> You're joking. Am I? We've never crossed paths. You're lobbying him too much. Who's lobbying Oleg? Wait, are you suspecting me? I just don't want to lose the contract. That's stupid. Fine. I've heard you, and I will think about it. That's it. Okay. I'll go to see the properties. Yermashov vs. Private Eye. Yermashov, this is Oleg Romashevsky. Remember me? I need to meet you. No, today. It's urgent. Hello, Dasha. Hello. I repent. I got held up at class. I'm ready to receive any punishment. What did you want to ask me? There's a good man who lost his wife in a car accident three years ago. And after this, 
he started having these attacks. Well, he's screaming at everybody, loses his temper, behaves aggressively, inadequately. That's weird. Is it the lonely prince who married another in the end? I don't want to talk about it. I just want to help a person. Maybe you'll tell me of some drugs, I don't know, sedatives. You want me to do it like that? Just write him up a treatment plan in absentia. You can do that. Well, if you get me his medical file with a folder full of tests, biochemistry, blood work and the like, then yeah, maybe I can help. Where can I get all that? So stop making it up, Svetlana. You can't help him with his attacks, understand? I'm a hundred percent sure that he has someone to go with all that. Yeah? Yeah, Dasha? Here, take a candy. There you go. That's it. I have to go. <sighs> well, let's go home. Are you cold? Come on. Ira. Yeah? What is it? Read it. Power of attorney for managing your estate. I had it done today. Your name is in it. Why? I was at the doctor's. If something happens to me or I get worse, I want you to lead the company and to take care of my daughter. I'm sorry, but I only trust you. Vlad raises a lot of doubts lately. Oleg, I appreciate your trust, but I think you shouldn't have done this. No, I should have. I want to take care of my health seriously. I'll handle my business, undergo a medical examination, and uh, I'll finally figure out where my attacks are coming from and how to treat them. Darlene, we'll get through everything together. Thank you. I need to go on very important business. The planning here is great. Look over here, it's the bathroom. Look at this great kitchen. A wonderful and warm apartment. Oh. And I'm thinking, what all the hubbub in here? These are the new bars, yeah? It's not a business. Go away, please. Yes. No, it is. I just want to deal with the living space. Listen up. Don't go to the kitchen on weekends. Cook in your room. And why is that? You know, kid, I meet with my boys here on weekends. You know, here and there, talking about life to the sounds of the music. Are your friends musicians? <laughs> no. But they're creative professionals. Have you heard the hijacking? Oh my god, what's this? Why are you interfering? Go away, please. Okay, okay, okay. I have great friends. Let's see the room. No, thanks a lot. Mm. Goodbye. Svetlana, I'm sorry, but I'm removing your property from the catalog. No one sane will deal with your neighbor. I get it. What shall I do? How do I know what to do? You had to think who you moved into the apartment? Where was your sister looking? You can see criminal written on his head. And you have a nice day, too. So? I want to know if the construction company owner Ahotsky and my deputy Vlad Pratko are connected. I need the full data. You'll have it.
So what? Did you boss figure something out? Not yet. We're going into the second phase. On behalf of Oleg, I gave a task to the law department to prepare several options about the potential partnership between the companies. I mean yours and ours. Let the lawyer think that Oleg is interested in your business. And as soon as we asked him from management, we'll conduct the merger. Well? That's not everything. Oleg's share will be washed out by the authorized capital, and he'll lose the vote right. So basically, he'll lose the management. And then it's peaches and cream. In a couple of months, go through with a dozen of fake mergers and bingo. Yeah, this sounds good. You know for how long. I dreamed for a really large business. And when does the stage start? It already did. I need a wick. And then it's the merger. Good job. Well, to success. Svetlana? Hello. Kirillas Hospital is nearby. I decided to see you. How's him? No changes yet. We are waiting for the bruising to dissolve. Understood. And how are you? Did you find common ground with the neighbor? No, I didn't. He has an apartment common and wants to kick me and dash out. Svetlana, stop it. You're disappointed that I sold my share of the apartment, but understand me, I couldn't do anything else. Fine. I understand you. You speak that with such tone. You know you are the source of all your problems. You are not fit for life. You can live peacefully with a neighbor. You couldn't keep Dasha's father. He was a good man. Stop it. You know that he cheated on me. So what? Why should I constantly put myself into your position and you should ignore mine? You know, live just how you like it. Make your own decisions. I'm not helping you anymore. I understand your grief, but that doesn't give you a right to talk to me like that. Stop blaming me for everything. I'm not your punching bag. You started talking like this, Svetlana. You changed. Not without your help. How was your day at the school? It was good. When we'll go to the ice rink? I want to use the new ice skates and teach you. Look. Look. Maybe we'll go this weekend. I can do it this weekend. And the next one is booked too. Svetlana would definitely go if I asked her. She also likes ice skating a lot. How do you know what she likes? I know, because Svetlana was at the city ice rink with me and Dad, and she wasn't alone, but she was with her daughter Dasha. We had so much fun. No way Svetlana was with you. Yes, we are real friends with her. Wow. Now you and me will become real friends. Mm -hmm. what You'll you? see. Uh, um, Alec has already gone out on business. I was looking for you all over the office. Why? Because you need to stop intruding into my family. I've already got my hands full with Lera, and you are pouring more gas onto my fire. I'm not pouring anything. No way. Then why does Lera tell me how it's fun and cool to ice skate with her best friend Svetlana? I'm her new mom, not you. And stop pitting my husband and child against me. I'm not pitting anyone. You do. Okay, I got it. I hope so. 
I don't understand at all why Oleg hurt you. Insolent buck. What did you say? Are you slow to get it? Pretty girl. You said it's an urgent call. Did you find something, or were my suspicions wrong? No, you weren't wrong. Legally, Vlad and Ochotsky aren't connected. But actually, they've known each other for a long time. When Vlad was seven, Ochotsky came into his mother's life. He basically became Vlad's stepdad. So that's how it is. Your Vlad's mother and Ochotsky lived in a civil marriage for about five years. Then they split up, but Ochotsky continued that communication. He treated him like a son. Looks like he does the same now. Vlad did an internship at Ochotsky's company when he was very young. That's how he got into construction business. Then he went over to a larger company and finally got to your business. Here's all the data. Well, this explains a lot. Thank you. What's so urgent? Did you see what time is it? Oleg, can it wait until tomorrow? You lied to me. What? All this time you've been lying to me. I know who Ochotsky is to you. You know him since childhood. I'm sure his company was snatching our contracts due to your insights. Vlad. Vlad. You're leaking the information. Nonsense. And don't touch my childhood. Got it? My childhood doesn't concern you. It doesn't matter at all. That was a long time ago. We haven't talked for a long time. You saw each other yesterday. You were spying on me. Tomorrow, you're transferring your business and getting the hell out of here. You're fired. Wait, Alec. Beat it. We need to meet urgently. I need a triple dose for tomorrow. Yes, you got me right. There's no time. Everything needs to be done fast. Tomorrow, at our place. statement first. Please, doodle with me. I'll write the statement and we'll doodle. What statement is it? It's for my release. Are you quitting your job? Yes.
Sasha. Sasha, come here tomorrow as usual. Detective, I want you to check something else for me. Sending you the data now. There you are. I was looking for you, Svetlana. Can you search the archives for the tax office acts signed by Sternyakov? I can do it. I'm busy. I'm making Alex tea. Sure, sure. But it's very urgent. I will even uh, tell you where they are. You don't need to tell me anything. I know everything. I'll get them now. Thank you. Here you go, please. You're fast. Are you sick? Yes, a bit sick. <laughs> Did the boss ask about me? No, he didn't. Fine. I'll come by later. Thanks, you bailed me out. Take a look at it. It's very important. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Svetlana, I'll take a look later. Fine. Vlad, are you at the office? I'm looking where else you could take a dump. You mongrel, don't go anywhere. We're having a meeting at lunchtime. I'll tell everyone you're fired. What? Are you sick? Go away. Go away. Why are you looking at me? Go away, I told you. Go away. Why are you looking at me? What happened? Did it start again? It's worse than usual. I can hear it. Then what should we do? He lost his marbles big time. We're gonna save him. From himself. But how? He can injure himself. What are you waiting for? Call an ambulance. I'll do it myself. Yeah. Looks like you don't have any other choice, Svetlana. Oleg's becoming a danger to society. Hello, 911? We have a man down here. I don't know what is it, but he becomes terribly aggressive. Throws heavy objects at people, screams, and it happens to him abruptly, suddenly.
Move is He's being taken to you. Get ready to enter the game. Serious. Yes, hello. Yes, I've sent you a copy of the documents and an application. I want to mortgage my share of an apartment. How much can you give me, at least approximately? If it is approved, then it's 10,000 and conventional currency at the most. Why so little? Nobody will give you more, believe me. Fine. This money won't be enough for anything. I won't be able to buy the other part of the apartment. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Ira, I'm so worried about Daddy. When he'll be back home? I don't know. I want... I want to go to his hospital. It's not a place for you. Why so? Because it's not. Why? Because... Because I said so. I'll tell everything to Dad when he'll get back. Yes. What's this? What have you done? Well, lady, inspect the works. Why did you disassemble the boiler? Why are you worried? I disassembled the guts for maintenance. It was acting up. What do I do now? How should I know? I'm not a gas man. Why are you getting into it if you don't understand how it works? You had to call a professional. I had to, but the professional will leave and our here boiler will break down. <laughs> I get it. You're leaving here. Aren't you going to freeze? No, I won't freeze. I'll turn on the electric heater, and you should follow my lead. We'll go broke on bills. Not me, but you will. I won't pay for electricity. You'll have to do it on your own, but you have options. If I'll sell my share for the third of the value, I won't be able to buy anything in the city, not even a room. So buy out my share? 40 grand? I don't have that kind of money. Thing? Do you think I'm motivating you for nothing? Diana. We need to talk urgently. I love this part of the job. Well, me and Kirillo have news for you. I looked at the recent images. We've tried. But Kirillo will show everything himself, right? Mom? Yes, my dear. Dad? Come on, be bolder. Kirillo. Come on, Kirillo. Kirillo, my dear. Well done. Take it easy. Come here. Your son will be fine. The bruising dissolved just as I thought and will discharge him soon, but the rehabilitation... Thanks a lot. Thank you, thank you. He'll need to go through the rehabilitation, of course. Well done. My boys.
and drink. Easy. We have good news. Kirill is getting better. Thanks God, I'm happy for you. Svetlanka, please forgive me. I don't know how to fix it. I understand you. We rushed into this. We had to discuss everything calmly and make a right decision. I don't know. Yes, I made a mistake. But understand that I was in a daze at that moment. I only had one thought. How can I save Kirillo? These are the money that I got from my share of the apartment. We spent some, but you can buy back my share from Yanev. Diana, he's a conman. He wants to write the amount he paid you. Understand? And the bank can give me only 10,000 from the mortgaging my share. It won't be enough for anything. But I'll try to handle it myself. I won't take money from you because you'll need to go through rehabilitation. I get it. I don't know if you won't take the baby, move to our place. And leave the whole apartment to him. We won't get back then. My God, what have I done? You turned out to be such a fighter. Also, I'm quitting my job. Why? It doesn't matter. And what about your boss? The boss got married and... got very sick. I'm worried about him. <laughs> 